Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm going to show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now, they're not shot for angles. They're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. Here is the sifter controls and here are the hammer mill controls. So start, stop, running, start, stop, running, e stop for both. This is the three horsepower drive for the sifter. So your motor hooks into the bottom of it. Here's the five horsepower contactor for the hammer mill. So your motor hooks in right there. And we press, we'll just hit the contactor first. So we press the start button for the hammer mill. Contactor pulls in, also light comes on. We press the stop button, goes out. And we press the start button for the sifter. Drive comes on. Your speed control is right here. So there's 33 hertz and you can bring it on up to 60 hertz. We have a running indicator on the front for it. Stop, First you can start both of them. He stop drops both of them out. There's a few settings to be concerned with and this is mainly starting on page 411 of the manual. You need to put in well your nameplate voltage uh, but mainly your nameplate amps. Base frequency which is 60 hertz. Mo uh, base motor RPM enter it and stop method. It can either ramp to stop, which is what I have currently have it set for, or it could coast to stop, which means as soon as you hit the stop button, it just coasts down. And right after it, parameter 101, that's your acceleration time, which I left at default, which is 10 seconds. And then if you're going with the ramp to stop, parameter 1.02 is your deceleration time which is currently at 30 seconds, which is way too long probably for your application. So you'll need to set that. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful. And YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.